what I'm using here is the buck roar. It's only it's the only grunt that I've ever gotten to work. Grunt call. And I don't know if that's just because it's realistic sounding or just because of the good timing that I've used before or whatever, but I really I really like it. It's a more aggressive call. Um, and it really brings them in. So let's see if something doesn't come by. Alright guys, so I'm going to get things started off here. Make a little noise. people hunting on that uh, side too or I'm the only I'm, I'm out I'm the only one who ever hunts on this side. And then um, there's a four wheeler down at the bottom Yeah that's water. mine the blue one. Okay yeah. yeah I just use it in case I want to cross the creek on the other side. I just leave it there. Go from Where's Adrian Adrian's on hunting somewhere Yeah he hunts on the other side of the creek all the way over. That's what I thought. Yeah 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 we hung a stand there last weekend so and then his other boy hunts up at the shop. So. Yeah. Yeah well good. All right good luck guys Alright guys, so it's Sunday, November 9th, um, it's the day after gun opener, um, I'm sitting here in a double bull blind over um, a pond, I don't know if you can see that, um, we got a pond right out here, and to my left is the uh, edge of the forest, and there's a ravine right on the other side of this dike, and they like to walk this fence line here to come down and get a drink, um, that's a normal normal season hunting days um, since it's November 8th it's, uh, according to the calendar it's rut right now although we haven't been seeing a whole lot of movement as far as I'm concerned <clears throat> so um, this is kind of a good spot um, for both situations um, if they're just going to be moving like an average day they should come out and get a drink or if it's a rut if they're going to be like a rut. They will be um, traveling the field edge, maybe come down for a drink, or they like to travel along this dike and along this fence line. So either way, hopefully they're moving through this area. Um, it's the first time you've seen me in this blind, even though I have recorded it a, a couple other times, but all my files were deleted. So welcome to the blind. <laughs> um, hopefully we can't Hopefully we can get a big one on the ground tonight. Um, I've shot my door already, like you guys have seen. Uh, that was two nights ago. So uh, I'm looking for a buck today. So uh, stay tuned. All 
All right, so here's the deal. Um, I was just sitting over in the blind over there and I heard my dad take a shot. Um, and I texted him and said he shot at a goat. So I'm gonna go help him find that before it gets too dark. There's one thing to know about my dad and hunting. Uh, he prides himself in being a, um, a, a good shooter, a good shot. And so he typically, whenever he can, he just makes one shot and tries to make a count. So when I called him, I was a little surprised when he said doesn't even know if he hit her. <laughs> so uh, we'll go see if we find her. Um, I'm sure he probably hit her and um, maybe just hasn't found any blood yet or can't find exactly where she was standing when he shot or something, but uh, we'll go see what happens. Where was she standing, right here? They're coming. First I saw the one out in the cornfield. Came out in the corner up there. So then I kind of got ready and like, well, hopefully she'll come this way. And all of a sudden I seen this one coming right down the forward trail. And then there was one behind it following her. And it kept coming and coming right at me. And I was waiting for him to turn so I get a broadside or turn this way and I get a broadside. And I'm running out of real estate because I didn't have a lot of. <laughs> oh, because you right. only had the one window open? And, and finally, when she got about here, I'm like, I gotta shoot. I just did a sh straight on. Should I leave the four wheeler running? No. I got my knife and stuff, so. You got gloves? Yeah, I got gloves. Oh, I did forget my light, so. I have to use yours. So she went straight down there. The Which one? Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> one of the splits. Is that one with like three or whatever? Or four? Or? Yeah, well, however many that is. She just kind of looked like she was hit pretty hard. And I thought I heard a crash. I haven't found any blood. Red. Camera on? Yeah. Alright. Let me lead the way or Well, you have a gun. You have a camera. Do you want both? She's big. Maybe you just scared her. She got a hole in her anywhere? Sure, you just scared her. There you go. So where'd she come from? Uh, it almost looks like she came out of the ravine. She came up from down that way. 
but you know I turned and it almost looked like she she had to be just walking the edge I think because I don't think she would have came out of the ravine but she's all by herself and she was clipping along pretty good how many shots hmm? how many shots one that's probably why I... yeah you hear one shot you can't tell where the hell it came from usually even when he was shooting you know I've got the all the headgear on and I'm like, what the fuck, where's that coming from? I just assumed it was way down below because who could shoot that many times in the woods? <laughs> you know? <laughs> There's a fair amount of shooting to the north of me, you know, throughout the days here and there, seeing shot two or See what tomorrow brings. Yeah. Doesn't Where seem very ruddy. It seems they're more active a week or two ago. But good Brian and I were just talking about hopefully with that storm coming a cold front Monday they'll hopefully be moving tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. So how much snow are we supposed to get now? I haven't checked lately. <laughs> the last time I checked they weren't quite sure how far north or south it was yeah. going, so